Hey guys, it's Jason. Today's date is September 30th, 2012. Guys, I'm bringing you an article from spaceweather.com. This is in regards to the 7.4 uh, magnitude earthquake that just hit off the coast of Colombia, which was actually downgraded to a 7.1. The reason I bring you the spaceweather.com article is because it's dealing in regards to the CME impact that we're actually getting hit with today, which is September 30th. Now, I already knew that we was going to get hit today and last night by this CME, so I was already watching the earthquake maps. Now, many of you know North Texas last night got hit with an earthquake, and I'll show you that in an article. But it says right here, it says CME impact. Now, this is updated for today. It says a coronal mass ejection hit Earth's magnetic field on September 30th at 1025 UTC time. The impact was weak. Yeah, right. Lifting the solar wind speed around Earth barely above 300 kilometers. Nevertheless, auras are possible around the Arctic Circle as Earth's magnetic field reverberates from the impact. The CME was propelled into space on September 28th by an eruption of a sunspot, AR-1577. The solar and heliospheric observatory caught the cloud expanding toward Earth at 2. million miles per hour. Now I can scroll on down through here. Although the initial impact was weak, a geomagnetic storm could develop in the wake of the CME. Keep an eye on the real-time photo gallery for signs of polar lights. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to take you to NASA's data imaging and show you that solar flare. This is the CME they're actually talking about. That was on the 28th. I'm going to start it here. See how far it expands? See, the disk, solar disk, is not the sun. This round part is not the sun. This circle, white circle in the middle, is the sun. This is just something that reflects the light, a solar disk. This is the sun. Can you see how large that cloud is? The parameters of that cloud, look how big it is compared to the actual sun. And I'm going to step that back. Now look, that's the sun right there, the little circle, not the big circle. This is the little circle of the sun. Look how still, I'm retracting it back, and look how big it is compared to the sun, how far that goes out into space. I'm just going to keep stepping it back. I'm going to step it forward again. You see how much power that is? All right, I'm actually going to take you over to the earthquake maps now and show you the uh, actual 7.1 Colombian earthquake on the uh, earthquake maps. All right, I brought you over to globalincidentmap.com, and uh, I'm just going to show you these earthquakes that are actually taking place today. Uh, we just had a recent 59 minutes ago, 4.2 in Alaska. But this is the 7.1 Columbia earthquake they're speaking of. We got a lot of earthquakes up the coastal plate right here in California. Um, last night, or 13 hours ago, we had a 3.1 in northern Texas. But you'll notice as, it, as the solar storms pick up, the earthquake activity and volcano activity will as well. I mean, it's like clockwork, guys. I, I mean, I show this every time. You'll see a lot of people come out with, as soon as this earthquake news gets out, people start releasing a lot of harp videos and stuff. Guys, this is like clockwork. I tell you to look at the earthquake maps before we get hit by a solar flare and to look at them after we get hit with a solar flare. I mean, it's like night and day. It's like cause and effect. All you got to know, know is when we're expecting the solar flare. Look at the spaceweather.com or NASA's information or data. They'll tell you when it's coming. You can watch it, and we can know for a fact that we're actually getting hit with it because the whole world will start sending pictures and data of, of auroras in the sky. That's our proof to know that we just got hit with a massive CME because it puts auroras all around the world in mid-latitudes and high-latitudes. So we know for a fact that we just got hit because that's what solar flare, that's how they impact our atmosphere. That's our way of knowing for sure if we just got hit with one. So for all you people out there that say it's harp, it's this, it's that, it's not. We have proof. If we can back it up, it's almost like I'm psychic. Because if I can tell you earthquakes are going to happen the day of us getting hit by a massive solar floor or the day after, that means we know. We know that it's going to take place. So it's not harp. 
It is the sun causing all these solar flares, guys. I'm going to scroll down the earthquake map here. There's 87 minutes ago was a 7.4, but they downgraded it to a 7.1. goes back the last 16 hours but guys just keep your eyes on for the rest of this the rest of this year we're entering solar maximum and the sun is only going to get worse so what does that tell you if the sun is only going to get worse and the solar flares and cmes are going to only get stronger that means the earthquakes the volcano eruptions all the crazy weather it's all only going to get worse it's cause and effect i mean this is all playing into part of the book of revelation when these solar flares hit the earth, it causes earthquakes, volcano eruptions, all this horrific and all this crazy apocalyptic weather that's taking place all around the world. But when you have massive solar flares that hit the world, you also have all these earthquakes, these volcano eruptions, but it also the volcano eruptions and earthquake causes all the mass fish dive because of the release, release of methane gas in the seas, the oceans, the streams. I mean, it's, it's